mind blown. Time travels inexorably on, and in our lives, it can be said that it's our most valuable commodity. It's constant, right? Well, actually no. By 1900, science had come to understand that the speed of light is constant, no matter if the origin was moving toward or away from us. The speed of light is actually a constant, no matter your perspective. It's 186,000 miles per second. But this is counterintuitive. For instance, if two baseball pitchers throw a ball to you at the same distance and the same speed, but one pitcher is already moving toward you at 40 miles per hour on a train, then the speed of his pitch will be faster and thus reach you first, since the speed is additive. But this doesn't happen with light, and now we have a conundrum. For instance, if we have three people, one on a body moving half the speed of light toward us, one on a stationary body not moving with respect to us, and a person here on Earth, the light from the moving body will reach us at the exact same time that it does from the stationary body at the same distance. Additionally, all three locations will observe the exact same constant light speed, both coming and going. So, in this thought experiment, there are three components, light, space, and time. We know that light is constant, and we said that the distance was the same. So that leaves time as the variable. But the problem here is that each of the three people experience what they perceive as normal time. The solution to this equation is to realize that Relative to the two locations that are not moving with respect to each other, the person on the moving body must be in a different time and space framework. But what would make that happen? Einstein proved that gravity bends and compresses the space-time fabric of the universe. Traveling at half the speed of light, the person on the moving body, relative to the stationary locations, will be in a reality of compressed space and time. A body increases in mass proportional to the speed they are traveling. Increased mass means increased gravity. And increased gravity means compression of the space-time fabric. Their clock is therefore moving slower relative to the two other clocks. Since they are moving and aging at half our speed and their space is compressed, they will measure the speed of light at the same constant speed, but it is now from their different framework of space-time. In truth, there is no stationary place in the universe, nor is there a master clock someplace. Everything is moving relative to everything else, and space-time is only a construct of a particular conscious being in their particular place, relative to the other locations, and is not constant in the cosmos. In fact, space-time is actually different everywhere, all the time, relative to how we are currently perceiving it. Mind blown!